What's going on everybody? It's Jay Wilson and fish have arrived. We've got to get the Tanganyikan tank set up, but first, well, we need turbo start. Child. Uh. Okay. Thank you. My goodness. Alright hey folks, so before we get started and add to the turbo start, because ever since I found out about this product, I have not started another tank without using this, even the saltwater tank. It, it truly is an organic way to do it. There's nothing else in here other than live. It means it's alive, Steven! A live nitrifying bacteria. But you do have to use a product and you can use any one you want. You can use Seachem Prime, you can use Fritz Complete. I prefer Fritz ACCR, which is very much like Amquel, just cheaper. And it takes out the chlorine and chloramines that are toxic to Fritz Turbo Stout. But it's any bacteria. Oh man, I don't want to drop the bottle. Huh. Okay. So I just do my pumps. It's pretty simple, look at that. Pump, 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 pump. Cool thing is you can't overdose ACCR, essentially. You don't wanna to do too much, but I think the pump runs out, what does it say? One cap per 10 US gallons, and this is just shy of a cap, so. La -da -da -dee. Pretty simple. But the major thing that you wanna do is turbo start. You wanna make sure it's right because, well. Ha ha, hello Mando. He has a life vest on because he had a little surgery. But we'll add this. It does smell a little earthy, um, almost like a week's old turd in the toilet. No, it doesn't smell that bad. Uh, don't drink it. Seriously, it's not an energy drink, but it is essential for me when I'm setting up a new aquarium, especially with these guys. The other thing is because I'm adding all these fish at one time, we've got the Congo Tetras in, we're going to add the fish from Dave's Rare Fish and those are from something fishy. The idea is it's gonna be an insurance piece for me, so anytime I add fish, I will always add turbo start because it helps that balance of the ammonia production. So I don't want my biological filtration or my bio load to sway too far, okay? Enough of it, if you wanna use it, it has to stay cold. If you don't want it cold, you can use, what is it, Fritzheim 7. It's all fresh water, baby. Let's add it, let's rock. First, you gotta shake it. So just read the instructions. Chlorine, chloramines are lethal. Uh, use Fritz Guard or other high quality water conditioner before use. This is okay if it's overdosed, um, but whew, actually this one does smell like that turd sitting in a toilet. So I don't necessarily have to measure. There's 150 gallons, there's 200 gallons. We'll add a little bit more. That's it, it eats ammonia. <coughs> Dave's Rare Aquarium Fish. Super stoked, super pumped, Congo tank. Got a bunch of fish from Dave's Rare. Already had Congos and some Slender Wild from Dave Hale out of something fishy. But from Dave Schumacher at Dave's Rare Aquarium Fish, I got some really cool, neat Congos. I did get some Tenanti. I got three Wilds just to kind of complete it. Boom, inventory sheet. Uh, then I got the Casarius. Wild, I got five of them bad boys. Look at them, so lush, so colorful. And then I got some Synodonish Shudadenai. I got two of those. Beautiful looking catfish. Really excited to put those in. Really wanna tie this whole aquarium together. Just super excited about it. And hopefully Wednesday you can join me live and you can see some really cool stuff. We could talk about how I got the flow going and what I did to essentially create a Congo tank that will continue to evolve because I'm gonna be adding a few more fish. <laughs> So now that we've got these in here, they're gonna acclimate. So we've got the slender buffalo heads, the OG buffalo heads, or the regular ones. And then what I was really, really hoping for, this is gonna be pretty sweet, is I can't pronounce it, but it's the Shudadenai. It's a catfish from the Congo, cool. So I was looking for a Congo style tank and that's what we're getting. Now we've gotta go add turbo start into the Tanganyika tank and then we'll get those fish in there. So, well, let's get to it.
right, so we're super excited because we've got Le Lupi, we've got Brevis, we've got Compressiceps, we even have some Iremotus, some gobies. And then we're gonna be getting some of those fish that we had in the last tank and eking community uh, that was in the other room. We're gonna add those here uh, once I get them. Um, I'm, I'm really excited because it's like these fish tanks are coming back. I'm, I'm feeling good about them. I'm no longer in this weird, just bleh. It is, we are ready to rock and I'm trying to create environments that I enjoy looking at. And that's the idea, right? It's an art. It is this weird thing where truly you're an artist in your own right. Now, you may not necessarily make money from setting up your aquarium or your vivarium, but ultimately, yes, you are an artist. You are creating something out of the, the tools and utensils that you have and you're turning it into this image that you're gonna be looking at for quite a long time. So I'm really excited and I hope you are too. So do me a favor, leave a comment of what you'd like to see in terms of keeping uh, a different type of fish, whether it's salt water or fresh water. Um, we've got some plans and I've got a couple of tanks potentially that are gonna be in route and I don't know what to put in them yet. But enough of that, the Congo tank, the fish went in, you saw them, I talked about them. What were the ideas behind this Congo tank? And then we'll get to the Tanganyika tank, but I mean, where do I start? Driftwood, stone, kelp wafers, Northfin, Northfin USA. I mean, look at them attack it. Both, both wild, look having fun, super high flow. I've got two CCHA extreme SDCs. They're controllable. Oh, look at the catfish. The Synodonis is looking beautiful. Look at them. Let me get some of that. Let me get some of that. But that flow is also coupled with two whale 500s from CCHA. This tank is fully operational and powered by CCHA. Uh, the aquarium is from Fish Gallery. It was done by Planet Aquariums. I've got universal rock stone in there. I've got carib sea sand in there. I've got plants from Flip Aquatics. I got lights from Current USA. It is ridiculous. And I'm only saying this because most people will ask this question over and over and over again. But you can see, I just acclimate the fish and then bang, I put them right in. They did extremely well. We are now over a week and some change into having those and I haven't lost one fish. Now, I did lose one Congo Tetra. I think it was the second day. Don't know if it was just weak from coming in. Didn't look good um, overall. And I expect that. Whenever I order Tetras of any kind, regardless of how hardy they are or where they're from, I expect something like that. But this Congo tank is something different for me in the sense of there's wood, there's going to be some plants, we're going to be adding some more Congo Tetras, and then just look at them. They're characters, like straight up, man. Buffalo heads are characters from slender to the chubs. That's what we're gonna talk about. I got real rock in here, I got fake rock in here. I've got sand, I've got the wood, I've got some Anubius, I've got some swords. This tank is just full of what I believe replicates, I'm not even gonna say biotope because it's not, but I'm going to say replicates the Congo in the way that I'd like. And I truly believe that I achieved that. And I'm very, very excited to have this tank up and running. So I want to give a big shout out to Chris Biggs. Big shout out to Dave Hale, Dave Schumacher. So Dave's Rare Fish and Something Fishy just for not only the ideas and the embodiment of the buffalo head because I love the American bison. Everybody calls it a buffalo. So what better way to tie Africa back into this room? Catfish! than to really just embody my spirit animal, the fun of Africa, a part of the Congo, and really keeping in with cichlids and adding a little flair with the flashy Congo Tetras. So now we've got the tank, an Eakin tank, which mind blown, Neptunian Cube USA, beautiful tank, sick. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but this tank is so amazing. I've got, let's see what I got from Dave's Rare Fish. I got six Lamprologus Brevis Katumba. I got four Lelupe Cur, the Kuralani Island. I've got four Eremotus Sinistictus Milama Island. And I got some, I think I got four Alto Lamprologus Compressiceps Kasanga. I mean, plus the other fish that I've had before 
are all going in this aquarium. This aquarium is going to straight up be dominant. The fish immediately took to North Fin Krill Pro, immediately took to Veggie Formula, immediately took to the Flake. The It's just healthy. The tank was ready, utilizing Fritzyme 7, the, the whole thing. Just crazy. Actually, I used Turbo Start 700, but look at the Iremotus. Look at the Lelupi. Look at the Brevis. Killing it. Loving the shells. Going to add a few more. This tank isn't going to evolve much other than growth, and at, at some point, it will start to clear up. I used big, big foam fake rock from Universal Rocks. Had to silicone it in. Tied it in with a couple pieces of driftwood, as you can see, but the fish love it. They're doing well. Everybody's adjusting to the lighting. And overall, I'm extremely happy with this aquarium. And I mean, there's no power head in it, but I'm running two canister filters, one space Echo Plus 300 from CJ and a Whale 500. And it does the job. You can see the shimmer. You can see the flow. I, I don't even want to talk anymore. This tank is straight ballin' because it's Tanganyika, it's African, and it's cichlids. Do what you do because you love it. Don't do what you do because I love it or somebody else loves it. You gotta enjoy exactly what you're doing because if you don't, then you're not gonna have fun. Sometimes we lose our passion or we lose our drive for our passion or our hobby somewhere along the way and it's because we were in it for the wrong reasons or we had some outside negativity squash it get rid of it put blinders on get it done and enjoy exactly what you do subscribe hit the notification bell leave a comment let me know what obstacle you've overcome in your life to get you where you are today and what you are extremely proud of you know what wednesdays hit it instagram hit it you know what's next Holla!